the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father Chaba has safely arrived in Iraq, to our uh, delight, and started the first leg of his journey, his mission of peace. So we can start our novena. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The third station, the service of life. The war has ended. Together with the troops, Nicholas went back home as well. He uses this time of rest and peace to establish a family. He marries a lovely young woman from Oberwillen, Viss Dorothy, who presents him with ten children, five boys and five girls. His nice home that he built together with his wife and where his children were born to this day is still standing not far from the church in his little village. This neat little house enjoys the caring respect of posterity together with his place of birth and the small cell of his seclusion, solitude, together with its chapel. Nicholas Fleur's village is the flower field national shrine of Switzerland, where day after day, with prayer and love, many, many pilgrims go to be cleansed and filled by love. Reflection. Saint Nicholas of Fleur decides in favor of love. God gave him his life and he puts his life into the service of God. Many believe that civilization was destroyed by the barbarians invading during the time of the Roman Empire. The reality is that in the 400s, the Roman Empire was struck down by a huge epidemic of the plague and more than half of the 200 million people living at that time perished. All districts became depopulated, the administration of many of these have collapsed and the Roman Empire simply gave up much of her territories. The legions responsible for the safety of the area leave Northern Europe, England and Pannonia. Today, the one-child families, abortions, the plague of the deliberate turning away from life are decimating our world. At the beginning of the 90s, there were years when close to one million abortions were performed in Romania. Saint Nicholas of Fleur, upon his return from war, decides by accepting life because he knows it's not enough not to kill, but life has to be passed on. It's not enough to abstain from evil, but one has to do good. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, the world is panting after the sparkling, shining dead objects. We live in the cult of dead object. With the intercession of Saint Nicholas of Fleur, help us to break free from our greed, and that by accepting families, children, decide by life, and to share our gift of our lives with our families and descendants. Help us that either following in the footsteps of Saint Nicholas, we take pride in accepting large families, or even traveling on the path of Mary's betrothed Saint Joseph, to accept, take in children entrusted to us by the Heavenly Father. Our Creator, save us from the fruitless, barren life, so that our petitions may be heard, we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 